Well, in uh, 1995, I was in a motor vehicle accident. I was hit head on by another vehicle. And when we hit, I had a ruptured aorta. So they repaired that. In the process, they had to do bypass surgery. So they bypassed into my left leg because my right leg was injured severely. And when they did, I threw a bunch of blood clots out. And what happened was the clots got into the muscle tissue and they pulled the big clots out, but the muscle tissue, they couldn't get them out. So basically they open your leg up and try to let it air out and heal naturally. And they let that happen for about four or five days and it just wouldn't heal. It actually went in steps. First they amputated my toes, then they went basically all the way up. And then today I'm all the way, you know, I'm up to above the knee. Russ was in the hospital and rehab for six months. He then began looking for a prosthetist who could offer the technology and level of service that he required. He found real life prosthetics. They really cared about me. The technology was here. You can come in pretty much whenever you want if it's an emergency and they'll take care of you. Russ feels at home with the entire team at Real Life Prosthetics, especially Jonas Seberg. He's real particular about, you know, how it fits and he knows that I'm real particular about that. And he just tries to meet every, every expectation I have, he tries to meet that 100%. I mean, probably even more than 100%. If I'm not satisfied with it, he's not satisfied with it. I know all the guys in the back and they're pretty involved with everything that I do. And they just want to, the, the main goal for them is just to see me succeed and do everything that I should be able to do, whether I had a leg or I didn't have a leg. I play golf a lot, I like to play golf. Um, I just had a baby, so that's pretty neat, you know, I can't wait for that, you know, running behind him, pushing him on the bike and doing all that stuff. I can go up ladders, you know, I can climb up hills, go down hills, you know. I have a black lab that we run around with and we play ball and do all that stuff. He runs into me, tries to knock me over, I have a race car. I ha actually have two of them, I just bought another one. This winter I bought a dragster and then my father and I have a Nova together that we race and it's pretty unusual that you see somebody in my situation that was in a car accident, lost their leg in a car accident. And then I'm out right, you know, racing cars that go 160, 170 miles an hour. Right now, I work for CarMax. Um, I'm in the, the management program. I'm on my feet all day long. If I didn't have the leg that I have now, I don't know that I could do all the walking that I do during the day. As far as limitations go, you know, whatever I limit myself to is pretty much what my limitations are. The leg doesn't limit me to anything.